Hey guys, my name is Charlie and in today's video, I'll be doing a tutorial and guide on how to stake UFARM withdraw and claim your rewards on PancakeSwap. I've been receiving requests from our own community members that they have some issues on how to navigate on PancakeSwap and how to operate or interact some of the features on PancakeSwap, which is why I decided to create this guide to help them out. If you are one of them who is struggling to understand the DeFi space on how these are staking you farming and the entire process work, do stay till the end of this uh, video. I'll bring you through the entire process on how you can interact and operate on this DeFi platform itself. But before I deep dive into the tutorial part of this uh, pancake swap, I would like to share with you that we are having this uh, giveaway contest of our crypto starter pack. If you are interested, just go to the links in the description box down below to understand more about it. Also, if you are new to our channel, do hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell for more videos such as this. You can also join our socials such as our Twitter and Telegram channel, Token Clan for more in-depth discussion on cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. Without further ado, let's get started. Right now, we are at a PancakeSwap.Finance application. If this is the first time you are seeing it and you do not know what PancakeSwap is all about, I will highly encourage you to watch our past video which we have covered PancakeSwap in depth. And if you are looking to interact or to use PancakeSwap because they have quite a number of features here, uh, I'll be going through with you today, especially on the staking, you farming and harvesting of your rewards. These are the key activities that anyone will want to do or interact on uh, the DeFi platforms. First off, I'll be focusing on staking LP tokens on this uh, farm. To be exact, we'll be contributing Cake and BNB to create this uh, LP token and staking it to farm these flip tokens. This is what I'll be showing you today. Another one will be these uh, pools. So these are the single token pools. You have cake, you have other uh, tokens as well. You stake cake and you will earn the respective uh, tokens that is written here. I'll be using cake as an example. I'll be targeting this pool. First off, I'll be performing the single token pool farming, staking these uh, single tokens. In this case, I'll be choosing manual cake and I have to ensure that my wallet so my wallet is uh, using this uh, MetaMask. I'm using this uh, hardware wallet, which is called Ledger. You do not know what Ledger is. You can do a quick Google search and uh, you should be able to find information regarding about this uh, hardware wallet called Ledger. And you can see that I have a uh, BNB, I have Cake. These are the two key uh, tokens in my tutorial guide today. If this is the first time you are interacting a uh, MetaMask or you have not used MetaMask before, Definitely you will want to find out how to use a MetaMask. Just Google it and there are instructions on how to go through it. But in this tutorial, let's say if you have cake tokens in your wallet, but you can't find it, just have to add token, go to custom token and you input the token contract address. For cake token address, I will go to Pancake Swap. They have a details here. You need to obtain the token contract address here. And when you paste it here, because I already have added it, so it has this uh, prompt here. But if this is the first time you are doing it, you input the address, they will showcase to you the token symbol and the, the number of uh, decimal place here. Once you click OK, you will see the number of cakes here. So back to the application again, I'll be performing the single token staking. If this is the first time you are operating this platform, you will see that there is this wording called enable. You need to enable the contract but because uh, I already have done a uh, staking before on this pool, which is why it is the wording here is stake. But if you are doing it for the first time, you should see it as enable. You need to enable it first. 
there is a fee involved and this fee involved is uh, using BNB so be sure to have BNB in your wallet because that will act as your gas fee once you confirm it and you validate the transaction whether through using this uh, MetaMask or your hardware wallet after you have enabled it it should appear as stake I'll be using this uh, manual cake as example of course you can choose this uh, auto cake pool to stick your cake in because uh, it will help you to auto compound but uh, in this case uh, since I have unlocked this I will be doing this uh, manual cake staking just to showcase to you the entire process I click stake and you can see that my wallet has this uh, 16.585 balance of cakes you have this very helpful to how many cakes that you want to stake 25% up to the maximum but in this case I only want to stake maybe 11 cakes I'll be putting 11 cakes and contribute it into this uh, pool when I click confirm MetaMask will prompt you here the gas price everything here is populated for you uh, normally I will just check it to see that uh, everything is okay because uh, right now BSC for transactions to go through as of now that I know of is a uh, five and sometimes because uh, if the network is a little bit more congested you need to increase your GUI maybe to seven or eight or, or sometimes even ten depends on the network congestion but in this case right now we are using five click confirm and review my transaction on the ledger wallet itself which is a hardware a token that i'm holding right now that you can't see but i'm interacting with it and all i have to do is to review it and accept and send and you see that this thing is confirming right now you have to give it some time to confirm the transaction has been confirmed and my cake funds has been staked into the pool so you can see that right now I have 11 cakes staked into this single token pool and very soon I will be able to see my cake rewards here uh, being populated this is the staking part or the depositing part of your cake and let's say if you want to remove or withdraw your cake from this pool you have to click on the minus sign and you can unstake so if you put maximum it will unstake the entire amount of uh, cakes you have in the pool and when you click confirm you need to review your transactions and then you confirm or validate that transaction in order to unstake successfully i shall not show this process because staking it if you want to unstake you click on the minus sign if you want to stake more tokens in you click on the plus sign and if you have for example now i have 5.5 cake tokens left in my wallet so i can add in more if i want to but now i do not want to do it so it's uh, relatively quite straightforward here and this collect part is uh, collecting your cake rewards once uh, your cake reward is uh, being generated here you can see it here you click collect and then click on harvest and it will harvest all of the cakes out for you another one is they have this compounding feature where you are doing this manual compounding instead of the auto compounding that they are offering it depends on the frequency how you want to do this uh, manual compounding it is up to you this is for the single token staking withdrawal and harvesting of your rewards once you are familiar with this process for this single token you can do it for the rest of these uh, pools right here it is the same process the next process that i want to show to you is uh, p token staking you stake your lp tokens to earn uh, rewards in this case i'll be using this cake and bnb as an example so once you are familiar with this example you can perform the same process or same steps for the rest of the other farms right here in this case i'm using cake and bnb i need to contribute cake and bnb to my liquidity pool where do i do that i go to trade a uh, liquidity recently pancake swap has uh, done their migration from version 1 liquidity pool tokens to version 2 liquidity pool tokens be sure to go to this uh, feature liquidity click on it it will ensure that you'll be creating the version 2 of the lp tokens in this case here i click on add liquidity in this case here uh, just ensure that the settings here are okay so these are the default settings just stick along with it add liquidity so remember we need to add the uh, bnb and cake tokens I do a quick search cakes pops out i want to contribute my entire cake into these uh, lp tokens 
once I put max, a uh, pancake swap will auto calculate the amount of BNB that is required to form these uh, LP tokens. The ratio is always 50 50. This is the, the ratio that pancake swap needs. And once you are done, you just click on supply. And they will have this summarized version of uh, the action that you are trying to do the number of BNB deposited and cake deposited, and the rates. And this is the amount of uh, LP tokens that you will be receiving at the end. So confirm supply. And this uh, meta mask pops out. Once you check out, everything is okay. You click confirm. And because I'm using the hardware ledger uh, device, I need to review the transaction on my device to authenticate, allow permission. So I will accept and send. The transaction is submitted. And I can view the transaction on BSC scan to see what is the progress like. You can see right now it is pending. We give it a little bit of time for it to process. Now the transaction has gone through and I have received my LP tokens in my wallet right now. I have received 1.34 LP tokens and I can proceed on to perform the staking of uh, LP tokens in the cake and BNB farm. This is the cake and BNB farm that I'll be staking my LP tokens in. I'll just show you quickly. This is the transaction that happened earlier. You can see that I have staked in this amount of cake tokens, this amount of uh, BNB tokens to receive this amount of uh, LP tokens. So everything is here and includes the transaction fee. So you can see that the transactions fee under the Binance Smart Chain is relatively quite low as compared to Ethereum, which is why Binance Smart Chain is so uh, popular among the crypto investors. Go back to the farming part. You can see that uh, I have some LP tokens already staked here with uh, cake rewards, but I will be adding more of these LP tokens into the pool. I'll be staking more. You can see I have 1.34 as my balance. I click on max, I click confirm. And this is the part I need to again check out everything is good i click confirm again and i will need to review the transaction on my uh, physical device my hardware wallet device accept and send the transaction has went through and you see that once i have contributed the these uh, lp tokens in my cake tokens are automatically harvested this is part of the process there are some DeFi platforms when you stake new lp tokens or single tokens in it will automatically harvest the rewards for you while there are some that doesn't so you need to take note of it you can see i've already successfully contributed my 1.34 lp tokens it is already updated here if you want to unstake your lp tokens you just click on the minus sign and you can indicate how many lp tokens you want to unstake you can unstake everything or a portion of it depends on what you want to do once you have unstaked some of your LP tokens or all of your LP tokens, if you want to get back the respective cake and BNB tokens, you need to go to liquidity here. They have this section where they will detect, do you have any liquidity tokens in your wallet? If you have it, you can click on it to unstake and receive back your cake and BNB tokens respectively. This is the entire process of how you stake your tokens into liquidity pool tokens and how you unstick them. So if I quickly go to my MetaMask, you will see that I harvested about 220 uh, kicks based on my previous action that I've just done. It is here. If you go back to PancakeSwap again, you see that right now uh, it's populating with the kicks being earned as my rewards. Again, a quick recap of how you perform your staking, your yield farming, your withdrawal and your harvesting. So I'll just give you a quick recap what we have done so far. The first thing is that we went to the single token pool. I did a staking on this uh, manual cake pool. I stake it and I approve the necessary transactions. Once the cake is staked, I will earn rewards. You can see that uh, because the rewards is too low, but you will see the equivalent of value of it being written here. I have did the staking and I've showed you how you can unstake your cakes. And also you can do your manual compounding as well as the harvesting of the rewards all being done on the interface here. This is for the single token procedure and you can replicate this uh, entire procedure for the rest of the other pools. And the next tutorial that I showed you is this LP token farms, staking of these uh, LP tokens to farm for rewards. 
And in this case, in order to get the LP tokens, especially if you are staking like First off is that you need to identify what LP tokens that you want to stake. In this case, if you are farming for this cake, under this uh, cake and BNB, you need to have cake and BNB in your wallet. Likewise, if you want to you know, participate in this uh, farm, you need to have BUSD and BNB in your wallet, and so on and so forth. And what you need to do is, for example, this cake and BNB, you go to liquidity here, add liquidity, provide your BNB, Provide your BNB and your cake and create your LP tokens. Once you have your LP tokens, you go back to farms. You contribute your cake BNB LP tokens here. On the plus sign, you can commit all your LP tokens here. And you confirm and approve it in your wallet. And once it's done, you can start earning your cakes here. Uh, this describes the entire process that I want to share with you with regards to the single token pools and the LP token farms. If you find that this uh, entire tutorial is useful, do drop a like and comment in the box down below and share with as many friends as possible for those who need help uh, in participating in this pancake swap DeFi project. Also, if you are new to the channel, do hit that subscribe button and enable the notification bell for more videos such as this and join our social channels such as our Twitter and Telegram channel Token Clan for more in-depth discussion on cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies. And you can also participate in our giveaway contest that is happening right now for our Crypto Starter Pack. Details and links are in the description box down below. With that, I'll see you in the next video.